We're driving to Hawaii. Just kidding. We're driving to the house that we're gonna park our car at, and we're gonna Uber, and then we're gonna go to Hawaii. Yeah. Ah! Uh, we got married. Uh, everybody knows that. This is gonna be a vlog of our uh, Hawaiian getaway. We're going to Maui. Come along with us on our honeymoon adventure. Yeah. Let's go see some turtles. I like turtles. We're on the plane and we're going to Hawaii. Aloha. She's so Hawaiian. How's it, brah? It's so good. Rented some fins and some snorkels and some wetsuits. So we're going to go snorkeling. So uh, I can't talk underwater, but yeah. when I am underwater, I will probably do some goofy voiceover commentary uh, describing what you're seeing. Maybe we'll see some turtles. Maybe we'll see some fish. Maybe I'll get eaten by a shark. Maybe Kayla will get eaten by a shark, and then I can really enjoy myself here <laughs> in Hawaii on my honeymoon. Oh! Hi. It actually feels really good in the water. Minus the saltiness. Generally, I'm pretty afraid of the ocean. I usually don't get in it. Uh, but we're in Hawaii, so I feel like I have to. All right, you ready to jump under? Yeah. Let's wait to dive under a wave. Yeah, I'm scared. Don't be afraid. Yeah, it's super murky right now. The water's pretty choppy. Can't really see much of anything. Boop. Let's wait for the big one. This is the furthest I think I've been in the surf since I was probably 12. Okay, since we can't actually snorkel right now, we're just kind of like floating around, waiting for big waves like this one. I didn't get it on camera, but I did one where I like slip and slid all the way up to the edge of the beach. and It was awesome. This water is actually pretty freaking warm. I'm trying to ride one in. Come on, Kayla. Come on, Kayla. Oh. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good one. Dude, am I gonna be on kook slams, brah? How are you doing, wife? I'm having fun, husband. Okay, so we just got out for a little bit of a break. I asked Kayla, do you have your, your wedding ring on still? Because mine is this rubber one, and she also brought her rubber one. It's not her actual wedding ring, and uh-oh. Guess I'm single this week. Uh-oh. So I told her that I guess that I'm the married man and she's my mistress for this whole week. Okay, RIP to Kayla's ring. We're back out here. Maybe we'll see it. One in a million chance. Maybe we'll find Wilson from Castaway 2. You never know. Hey, what's up? It's Underwater Voiceover Andy. I'm stomping around getting this shot real quick and I'm not paying attention. All of a sudden it drops off and I'm like, nope. I decided I don't like it when I have to actually tread water out here. The sand is oddly comforting. Kayla's not used to breathing through her mouth. She's not a mouth breather. I didn't bury a mouth breather. She buried a mouth breather. I'm definitely a... I got water in my... I will say these wetsuits that we got are very clutch because I do not handle even like mildly cold bath water uh, very well. So <laughs> here comes a wave. <laughs> We're moving to a different spot on the beach, a little bit further down. Pool areas over here by the rocks. I don't want to get too close to the rocks, obviously. And when we moved to this new spot, we actually saw some sea life, some little gray fish swimming around there, and uh, that was really exciting. Thumbs up. Did you see them? Did you just say they're ugly fish? Yep, I sure did. All of God's creatures are beautiful, babe. All of them. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> look at me. You have to look at me. <laughs> Kayla and I have been playing <laughs> at this beach, which has monster waves on it. We were playing in that. Look at this. Boom. We just took one of those, <laughs> and Kayla got the worst part of it. Look at her all over her Auntie face. Auntie kicked me in the face. Apparently, I accidentally kicked her in the face, but that doesn't mean that I put all that <laughs> sand in your eyes. It's Kayla? so hard to see. Kayla's uh, struggling right now. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're just letting, like, what? What, what can I do? <laughs> Tell me. The water is coming from your hair. Dry your hair off and the water keeps, will stop getting in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decided to leave that beach because <laughs> we're hungry. And uh, I'll just take a look at Kayla's hair situation here. It was in all of our clothes and crevices, but mostly hers. Yep, the beach won and I lost for sure. Good morning from a scenic lookout point. Look at that. Beautiful, blinding sunshine. Uh, you probably can't see it. It's Molokini Crater, and I don't know how to pronounce that island. It has like 
11 K's and O's and E's and L's and apostrophes in it. But we are driving to Honolulu Bay, yes. which is apparently the best snorkeling on the island. So we're gonna go do some snorkeling there. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be less, uh, it'll be less, less waves. That's what we're hoping for. Cause Kayla still has water in her ear. Yep. And we still have sand everywhere everywhere i go like this and sand comes out of me hello everyone or aloha this is kayla here and i just wanted to take a moment to show you my favorite trees i first have seen these trees on the island of Kauai, and i just think they're so beautiful and i wanted to show them to you guys what do you think about the trees andy they have leaves on them oh so, here we are in this cool little trail these vine covered trees are pretty sick hopefully the snorkeling is sicker this is supposed to be the best snorkeling spot on the island of maui honolua bay and uh hopefully we see some real neat fishies and uh we don't get blasted by waves or sand that's gonna the sand what did you call it the devil's dust sand is the devil's dust oh do we have to go through this puddle right here oh, are you ready are you ready to get some leeches on your toes? Ew, Andy, look at your zebra! I need a piggyback ride. Kayla doesn't seem to be too into leeches, so... I hate that word. So she's gonna go across the hard way, and I'm going the leech way. Oh no, I hope you don't fall. Shout out to Earth Runners. And yes, these are the exact sandals I play softball in. All right. Oh, jeez, I stepped on a big rock. Honolulu Bay. We're gonna jump in soon and find a spot to put all of our stuff. Do you want to put all of our stuff next to this guard chicken? Hi, guard chicken. Will you watch our stuff? All right, we're getting thinned up over here. Maybe I should play a softball game in flippers. Maybe I'll be a scuba diver for the Halloween softball episode. Are you ready? Getting the cold water past your balls is the worst part. All right, first time going masks down in Honolulu Bay. We grab hands and start kicking and then... Look at, what's that? What's that I'm saying? Oh, look, it's one fish, cool. I see some really cool coral down there. I'm gonna go down and take a closer look. And here I go diving down to the really cool coral. It's a couple fish checking it out. Looks pretty good. My first up close experience with some cool coral. And uh, then I start chasing around these little stripey fish. I forget, I identify them in a second here. I have this little, this thing attached to my wrist. All different fish. I think those are the Hawaiian Sergeant Major. Have you seen anything cool? Uh, yeah, I think I've seen some Garibaldi or whatever you call it. Uh, oh, I definitely saw what's that one. I saw the, the Sergeant Major. Moorish, uh, Moorish Idol. I saw that. Oh no, it was this one. It was uh, butterfly I saw fish. That one. You this, saw a butterfly fish? This one. What, is that what it is? Yeah, butterfly fish. Oh, cool. Um, I see those so many like jellyfish thingies and like. I'm trying to avoid them, kind of, <laughs> but they're everywhere, and they're cute, but I feel like they're gonna, you know, hurt. We'll see if I can get a shot of the jellyfish thingies that she's scared of. And here's the scary little jellyfish that apparently Kayla didn't want to get stung by. I don't think it was going to do anything, but hey, there it is. Pretty cool stuff down here. It's fun to dive down, too. Like, I don't want to touch anything, obviously. Can't touch the rock, don't want to touch the coral, don't want to touch any of the fish, but... It's cool to be down there among them. You said you were going to touch the jellyfish? So I'm not going to touch anything. Hey, what's that over there? A cool fish? No, just a guy swimming in his boxer briefs. That guy was just in his underwear. I wish I could scoop it up in just my underpants. And here we have the highly annoying douchebag fish swimming around, throwing up gang signs and whatnot, doing his thing. And oh no, he spotted us. Kayla, swim faster. Go now! Okay, so I think there's a sea cucumber down there. I'm gonna go look at it. And I'm telling you, these sea cucumbers should just be called sea logs of <laughs> um, because that's what they look like. And here's the douche fish once again. I believe he's coming up to breach for air. This is actually a beautiful thing of nature. Oh, yes. Time for a break. I was diving down a lot. I was getting tired, so we've taken a break. Yes. Okay. I mean, I feel great, but you know. What did, what did you say earlier? I said that this was my is my favorite part of 
the trip. Tell you what, that was pretty rough yesterday, but there's no sand here. I think we might have honestly rinsed out a lot of the sand that was in our hair and our, on our in all of our crevices and whatnot. But not all of it, because this sand is probably going to stick around in my hair for the next couple of years. Mine's, I think, is still on my scalp. Yep, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. I just scraped my head, and that is a nice chunk of sand. Gross. Kayla's making a friend right now. I don't want to be his friend. Oh no, oh no, don't come over. Why? Oh, I don't want to be his friend. <laughs> no, oh shit. No, 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 no. What? Let's stop talking to him. You're just telling him that you're interested. <laughs> He's married, bro. Alright? Okay, so right below me, there's some really big reefs. All these big boulders down here. I want to go swim down among them for a little bit. As long as I can hold my breath for them. And for real, this was so cool. I like the coral is so awesome. It's just colorful and I don't know. I loved swimming around it. That stuff is awesome. And here's the beautiful wife fish. And oh, look at her. She's so majestic. And of course, here's more douche fish kicking around like he's a wannabe dolphin boy or something. I don't know what he's doing. He's swimming and twirling and look at me look at me i'm part of the ocean i'm not afraid of the ocean i haven't been in it since i was 12. okay so there's a big school of fish down here i'm gonna see if i can go swim through them and here the, the douche fish it looks for its prey it's can't decide which fish to eat there are so many choices and they all keep avoiding him and giving him the runaround what's the deal bro come on let me eat one of you and here we go. What's he doing now? What's he doing now? He's looking at something. Oh, oh my goodness. It's an underwater porcupine. That's incredible. One of these times uh, when I was doing this, I was holding my breath and swimming around in the coral and stuff. I pop up and two dudes are swimming, snorkeling right next to me. And, and one of them goes, sick breath hold, dog. And then I saw a trumpet fish. And that was really cool, except when he ran away from me. And then the coral just kept getting bigger and deeper, so I had to keep on swimming down deeper. And it was super awesome being in this, like, canyon of coral, basically. Uh, I really enjoyed these little dives, diving around, holding my breath for, you know, 30, 45 seconds at a time. And just exploring the crazy ocean world. And this was a cool little sequence. When I came up for air, we hear this group of snorkelers over to our right laughing. And so I point the camera over there in case like they're looking at something cool. And it turns out that they definitely were looking at something cool because it was a sea turtle. It came up for a little bit of air and he was kind of floating around the surface a little bit. So I paddled my way over there with my fins and I kick, kick, kicked. And look at this guy. Look at him, it was so cool, like finally getting to see some like legit, legit marine life besides fish. Um, and this guy was super graceful. I didn't realize how like floppity their little fins were. They're so flexible and he went down there and he was, he was like munching on some stuff. I saw him, he was like eating at the coral. Um, he was kicking up like clouds of, you know, like dust or whatever you want to call it under there, coral dust. He was munching on something, whatever they eat. And uh, it was super cool to see him. So, of course, I had to uh, dive down myself and go swim around with him. I believe we're going to see that in a second here. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Are you there? I am. There I am swimming with sea turtles. It's proof. That's me. That's our friend the turtle. What's his name? Squirt. <laughs> That's from Finding Nemo. Real original. <laughs> 